Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time of the hour you are watching this and depending on where you are watching us from. I welcome you uh, for the Beholders Chat. My name is Ben Fetcher and uh, we are here ready for a wonderful session to hear the Word of God and to have a conversation about the, the, the Word of God. And I invite you to be part of this and I believe in the next few minutes you'll be enjoying it, you'll enjoy and you'll love what you'll be talking about. And as usual, I'm not alone. I am with my brother today on my right is uh, Bonnie Glorious, the glory. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Yes. Praise God. Bonnie Glorious is my name. I'm so blessed to be here. Amen. I'm so happy and I'm expectant from the Lord today. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. You're expectant from the Lord. Yeah. Awesome. And on my left is uh, IKR, Ian Kamande, Royalty. Ian Kamande. <laughs> Hello, sir. I am fine. Welcome to the Beholders Chat. I'm also expectant to hear from God. Wow. Yeah, He teaches us more <laughs> in every time. Then I should also say the same. I'm also expecting to hear from the Lord, <laughs> just as you are, uh, who is watching us. Yeah. And uh, the Beholders Chat is a, is, a, is a show that we have. It's a conversation that we usually have mm -hmm. on uh, anything about the Word of God. And uh, for the last, uh, for the last uh, two episodes, we've been talking about uh, answering the question of, is Christianity a religion? It has been awesome. Then we have a, a family called the Christ Beholders Family. International. It's a, it's a really wonderful family. It's, it has people from all over the world. You have people from the US, you have people from uh, South Africa, you have people from Kenya, all the counties in Kenya. And we are enjoying it. It's a great family and uh, you can also be part of it, I believe. But uh, you'll enjoy the goodness of the Lord. So, we have been talking about Christianity is not a religion. But before we get into that, I would like us to have a moment of prayer so that we can get into the Word of God. I would like us to have maybe some two minutes, just okay. in other tongues. <laughs> our loving father we are so excited this day thank you for your love you have loved us this much and uh, we thank you even for this uh, show today thank you that even as we speak the words that we speak they are spirit and life mm -hmm. so we are speaking life ministering life to our viewers who God seasoned with grace that we may be of a help to our listeners and to our uh, to our viewers today. We thank you, Lord, for everything that we're going to speak about or talk about. Uh, we thank you that your spirit is our teacher and he teaches us in all ways and he leads us into the full truth. Mm -hmm. We thank you for our viewers. We call them blessed, wherever they are, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every family represented here tonight, we thank you because they are blessed in Christ Jesus. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. 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 So, how have you been here? I've been perfect. Okay. Perfected in Christ as always. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What's new? Oh, what's new? Mm. Uh, the Bible says Christ is the same <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> today and forever. So, uh, I'm growing in that knowledge and daily I'm being transformed into the same image that I'm beholding, which is the image of Christ. Mm -hmm. The Bible says as we behold him, Yes. We become like him. Yes. And each and every day I am being transformed to become 
just as he is. Everything about him, I can say about myself. Wow. Everything he can do, I can do. Everything he is, I am. The Bible says that as he is, so are we in this world. And each and every day we are exercising ourselves in that, in that mentality, in wow. that knowledge, and in that reality. For well, that is our reality. Amen. Yes. You have uh, you have quoted that the verse in the second Corinthians chapter three verse eighteen. Yes, sir. And that is uh, our driving verse. Yes. For the beholders church, mm -hmm. and even for beholding Christ show, that is our our verse. We are transformed into the same image. Yes. And it's wonderful. So uh, it's not it's not an event. Mm -mm. It is a process. Yes. And it's happening every day. Mm -hmm. So the transform the, the the process of transformation. Is happening daily yes. as we behold him. Yes. So our work is not to focus on us changing. No. Our work is to focus on him. <laughs> you know, I can I can take something from that. Yes. You know, when I look at you right now, you are all grown. You yes. have a body, a strong body. Yes. But what did you do? You just ate. Yeah. You ate the normal food, yeah? Yes. When you ate the normal food, you did not go to the stomach and start telling the stomach, now digest. <laughs> Now digest food, and then after there, you go into your the other parts of your body and tell them and tell these minerals where they are going to go. Mm -hmm. No, you go to the you go to the you mind, go to the mind the you go to the brain. No, it's all automatic. Yes. When you yours is just to eat, you yeah. feed yourself with food, mm -hmm. and we can see the body growing. You don't have to know how that happened. And you cannot even tell specific meat. <laughs> you exactly you exactly. So ours is just to allow ourselves to be transformed by the word. Mm -hmm. Sit under the word, receive the word, and when it, when it comes to you, it does the work that it has to do wow. in you. Wow. Yes. And that is the difference now between uh, people who are trying to modify their behaviors. Yes. Because when you are modifying your behavior, yes. you're trying to work on yourself. Yeah. But it is God who works in us. It is God. The Bible okay. says it is yes. Him who works in us both to will and to do of His good pleasure. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Wow, that's awesome. Morning, good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? I'm very fine. <laughs> so what's up? My God, I'm Glory. so happy. <laughs> wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving, I'm loving the conversation between uh, about transformation. Yeah, and transformation is a change of form that affects us, like food. You take solid food, mm. and then when at arrival in the stomach, there's a change that happens and that food is converted into life. Yes. And now that gives you the ability to live mm. in this world. Yeah. So same case ha applied when we believed. Mm -hmm. Jesus pumped a life in us. I bet we are continuing with the same topic. Yes. It ain't a religion. Yes. It's, it's more of we were born into Christ. Mm. Yes. We were not converted per se. The conversion where we just follow some guy and then we are converted and then we stop believing in this wow. and we start believing wow. in this, then that it's not just something that it's happened. More like, conversion, yeah, no. It's more than a conversion. It's a life we live. We were born into it. Yes, I was thinking about how can, how, can I be, how, can I, how can I just listen to some guys, talk about someone, then that thing makes me to be born or that thing brings a new birth. It can only be transformation where you listen, you listen, then when you believe, there's a birth that happens. Yes. You are born into God. Yeah. The Bible says you have been born. I have, I have espoused you to Christ. You have been wow. born to Christ. Wow. You have received a new life. Christ has, has now his dwelling in you. You have received a new life. There's a conversion from the words that we hear into. And then when, when we hear those words, it's like a mirror. We see who we really mm. are. And then we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Mm. And that is how we are growing as the body of Christ. Yes, sir. And I'm so <laughs> blessed. I'm happy. So with the hearing, hearing and feeding is the same thing. Absolutely. Yes. So yes. Our focus is on, uh, it's not on how we are becoming. Yeah. The focus is what we are hearing yeah. and how we are hearing. Absolutely. Yes, because I think the what and the how. Mm. <laughs> they matter. <laughs> Wow, that is that is amazing. Just just as when you eat bad food, mm -hmm. it affects you. You will see the effect in your body. Yeah. <laughs> and when you eat good food, yeah. it is visible. Absolutely. This guy is eating good food. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Now there is a there is something that has uh, that I've been thinking about. You know, we've been talking about Christianity is not a religion. Yes, sir. And uh, what I've realized in most of the believers, or most people around the world, is that uh, on Monday they wake up, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they are doing their, their work. Mm-hmm. Okay, up to Friday mostly, they are doing their work. Mm-hmm. Then on Saturday, some of them are resting, some of them go to church. Uh, then on Sunday, now they call it a day where mm-hmm. they go to church now. Others on Saturday, others on, on Sunday. Then they go, they sing some, they, they open with a word of prayer. <laughs> After the word of prayer, they sing some slow songs. After slow songs, they increase the speed. <laughs> then after increasing the speed, another slow song. Then the, there are some testimonies. Yeah. Uh, I, this week, yeah. I got some money. <laughs> no, I was not. I was not feeling well. I'm. Of, I'm feeling okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, then after that, they give the offering. After they giving. After giving the offering. The Sunday service is closed, then they go home, and they say, wow, it was a good Sunday. But uh, with time I've realized most people are there with that yeah, kind of thing. Sure. Actually, you have jumped something, <laughs> the, the preacher. Oh, the, the preacher. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, some of them sleep when the preacher is preaching. <laughs> because he can't create. He's talking about things, talking about the children of Israel. He's talking about Samson, and they feel like nothing is relating with my, 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 daily, yeah. <laughs> my daily life. Yes. So they feel like <laughs> this church thing is just another religious activity. Yeah. Because I am a Christian, I have to go to church. Yeah. Because I am a Christian, I have to pray. Because I am a Christian, I have to read the Bible. Mm-hmm. But it does not relate in any way with their life. Yes. So my question is, because I, I've, I've noted that most people are tired of such a thing. Mm-hmm. It is not working for them. They found it like that. Yeah. It has not been working for them. Uh, now, I was asking myself, is this what Christ brought? <laughs> is this what Christ brought? No, sir. I, I don't know what you have to say about that <laughs> before you get to the this. Christ did not come for us to go to church. <laughs> He did not. Oh. What did you say? <laughs> Christ did not come for us to go to church. Okay. And we were not born again to go to church. Wow. Uh-huh. The Bible says Jesus mm-hmm. in John chapter uh, our verse, John chapter fourteen, no, John chapter ten. Yes. The thief comes but to steal, kill, and to destroy. Verse ten. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I am come that you may have life, and have it in abundance. So when Jesus comes, he's actually telling us the reason of his coming. Mm-hmm. And nowhere in that verse, in fact, there, there, is, there is nowhere where we hear Christ saying, I have come so that you may <laughs> go to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to church. In fact, the, the only place Christ told us to go was go ye into the world. Into the world. Not go ye into the church. Going into the world, doing what? Preaching this gospel, this gospel of life. Mm-hmm. So he came that we may have life. And when people miss that, when people miss, and when people fail to understand what is the meaning of I came, that we may have life, that is when they settle for less. Mm-hmm. They, they relegate, I, I use the word relegating, mm-hmm. they relegate Christianity into activities, yeah. into weekly activities. Yeah. Uh, an activity that you do once, uh, once a week, mm-hmm. You will only hear the word once a week. Yeah. Your Bible will be opened once a week. You sing some slow songs. Yes, once a week. <laughs> you will give your 50 shillings once a week. And people have relegated Christianity to, to mean nothing. And when you look at the life of Christ, you should see, you know, he is Christ. The Bible says he's the firstborn mm-hmm. from the dead. Mm-hmm. He's, he was, he's the son of God, and he has come to make us the sons of God. So when we look at Christ, we should see an example of what the church ought to be, of what the church ought to do. The Bible says everywhere he went, he did good. That is what we should see with the church. Mm-hmm. And this begins with knowing who Christ is. When you know who Christ is, you know who you are. Mm-hmm. And when you get to know who you are, you live what you are. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So you say that uh, Jesus did not come to make us go to church. No. <laughs> I, I, I even believe that he came to make us the church. Exactly. <laughs> we are the church. I don't know what you have to say on that. Uh, yeah. 
and I I I, I love that mm. that it's not something that we just do. Mm. And at times, even in history, it's been it's been seen. There's a time there's a time where the presence of God mm. dwelt in the temple. Yes, sir. yes. There mm. is a time when the presence of God mm. dwelt in the temple. Yes. There's a time where the gathering of saints used to express the life of God. Mm. In fact, there's a time that there was a challenge in the first church and it was the, the intention of it was to make the apostles to stop concentrating with prayer mm -hmm. and word mm -hmm. so that they may go and serve tables because there were some yes, politics in the church. <laughs> yes. But now they say, no, we will not take that. So we will continue with what you've been called to do. So it, there is... There is, even today, there is a gathering of people every Sunday yes. where they have life mm. and where they minister the life of God. Yes. But now, there is a time that comes where tradition makes the word of God null of its power. Yes. <laughs> there is a time that the temple used to have the life. In fact, it had the presence of God where the men used to come and offer those sacrifices yes, and sir. all of those things that used to happen then. Mm. But now there is a time that came where it was politicized and... Mm the church turned from having the priests and the Levites to a place where it was converted. And now there were Pharisees and Sadducees yes. and all the C's you can <laughs> mention. <laughs> so all in all, having that, uh, what happened? It's that it had altered a little bit because people are now following after the traditions of men mm. more than what God had to say about it. Yes. There's a time God corrected Elijah when Elijah thought that God was just in the fire. So he, had, he saw the fire pass on, and then he realized God was not in the fire. Mm -hmm. he had the, there was an earthquake. He realized he was not in the earthquake. Yes. He was in a small, still voice. That was meaning that it's not always in what you are used to. There is a shift that happened. Mm -hmm. And so for you to understand it, you must have the guide of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. that is of God who is inside of us, for us to understand how now the effect of the church is, or what is the relevance of gathering every day is yes. but it's beyond that yes even on monday mm. we have him yes we pray we speak <laughs> in other times it's, yeah, it's not a daily thing it's not a one day thing yes. on tuesday you, you will to. find us there speaking in other times and yes, ministering the word and evangelizing yes. and even sharing that life mm. yeah and it's more of it's a relationship between you and god and not more of mm -hmm. what is around you or what you have been used to yes. but it's more of god and you mm. Wow. Yeah. You, you've mentioned about uh, traditions, mm -hmm. and I had this verse in mind. Uh -huh. That is in Colossians chapter 2, yeah. from verse 6. Okay. Colossians 2 6. Mm. You know, sometimes you say a verse, then you realize that even the other verse is important. Verse 5, verse <laughs> 10, verse 3. But let's just go to verse 6. It okay. says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, yeah. so walk in Him, yeah. rooted and built up in Him, mm. and established in the faith, yeah. as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Yeah. Now verse 8 mm -hmm. says, Beware, yeah. lest anyone mm. cheat you through philosophy mm. and empty deceit, mm. yeah. according to the tradition of men, yes. according to the basic principles of the world, yes. and not according to to Christ. Yeah. For in him, mm -hmm. that is in Christ, yeah. dwells all the fullness of the Godhead body. Mm -hmm. So verse 8 and 9, I want to read them again. Yeah. Beware lest anyone mm -hmm. cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Yeah. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him yeah. who is the head of all principality and power. Amen. That was the New King James Version. Wow. Yeah. Then I take it to the Message Bible. Mm -hmm. The Message Bible says, mm -hmm. My counsel for you is simple and straightforward. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead with what you've been given. So that is to tell us. Mm -hmm. the, with, with the coming of Christ, yeah. he came and gave us something. Yes. Yeah. So he saying, <laughs> Go on, go ahead with what you've been given. Yes. Yeah. So don't miss out what you've been given. Yeah. Then he says, you received Christ Jesus, yeah. the master. Yeah. Now live him. Mm, wow. So what you've been given yes. is Christ Jesus. Yes. Yeah. You are deeply, uh, deeply rooted in him. Yeah. You are well constructed. Now I want you to see the different versions. Yeah. The difference in the versions. Yeah. The other one was saying, 
be, being deeply rooted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now this one is saying you are deeply, deeply rooted, rooted mm-hmm. in him. Yeah. You are well constructed upon him. Mm-hmm. You know your way around mm-hmm. the faith. Yeah. Now, do what you've been taught. Mm-hmm. Schools out. <laughs> Quit studying yeah. the subject yeah. and start, start living, living it. it. Mm-hmm. Wow. And let your living spill over into that giving. Praise so God. now the other part I wanted us to note is schools out, yeah. quit studying yeah. the subject and mm-hmm. start living it. Wow. So what we have received mm-hmm. is Christ yeah. and he told us to leave him. Yeah. We are deeply rooted in him. Yeah. Then he's telling us to start living. So yes. it's 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 not it's not something like uh, it's not a, it's, it's a life to be lived. Yes. Yeah. Then he says, and let your living spill over into thanksgiving. Mm, wow. Then he says in verse eight, 8, watch out for people who try to dazzle you with big words and intellectual double talk. Yeah. They want to drag you <laughs> off into endless arguments mm-hmm. that never amount to anything. Yes. And I believe now here he's talking about the, the philosophies and the traditions of men. Yes. And in my opinion, I mm-hmm. think these are this is the, what religion is all about. Yes. Absolutely. People trying to dazzle you with big words mm-hmm. and intellectual double talk. Mm-hmm. They want to drag you off into mm-hmm. endless arguments yes. that never amount to anything. Mm-hmm. They spread their ideas. Yeah. I remember last time you said about the ideas of men. Yes. Religion is the ideas, ideas of, of men. men. Mm-hmm. God, God. Now that is what they spread. Yes. Their ideas mm-hmm. through the empty traditions of human beings yeah. and the empty superstitions of spirit, spirit beings. Yeah. But that's not the way of Christ. Yes. Yes. So that is not Christianity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, it's everything of God, wow. everything about Christianity wow. ex- gets expressed in mm-hmm. Him. Wow. So you can hear so you can see and hear it and hear him clearly. Yes. Wow. You don't need a telescope, yeah. a microscope, <laughs> or a horoscope <laughs> to realize the fullness of Christ yeah. and the emptiness of the universe without him. Wow. When goodness. you come to him, yeah. that fullness comes together for you My too. God. His power extends over everything. <laughs> Amen. Wow. Then verse 11 says, entering into this fullness yeah. is not something you figure out yeah. or achieve. Ah, yes. It's not a matter of being circumcised or keeping a long list of laws. <laughs> you know, with the religion, that is what we say. They remember. Yes. Yeah. With that, with religion comes a long list of things that you are supposed to do. Yes. And uh, things that focus on yourself. Mm, yeah. But now he's saying, when you <laughs> enter into the fullness of of this life, yeah. it's not something you figure out Mm-mm. or you or are, achieve. Or achieve. Mm. It's not a matter of being circumcised. That is the law. Mm. Or keeping a long list of laws. Yeah. No. You're already in, yeah. inside us, yeah. not through some secretive initiation, initiation right, uh, right, but rather through what Christ has already gone through for you, Amen. destroying the power of sin. Amen. Yes, I know we can read and read and read and read yeah. all the way, <laughs> yeah. but uh, what, what is coming out uh, from these verses, yeah. because I realized that uh, traditions of men, mm-hmm. Is what has hindered men yeah. from enjoying this life. Yes. He says it's a life that we have received. Mm-hmm. But now there are traditions. Like now many people think like Christianity is just another tradition. Yeah. It's about uh, like what I was saying, mm-hmm. going to church, blah, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. being baptized yeah. uh, in water, some yeah. will say, <laughs> with ash. You know, all those traditions. Yes. And these things, <laughs> they, they tend to to block or to rob man yeah. of what Christ brought yes, sir. here on mm. earth. Yeah. And now he says, as you have received him, <laughs> walk in him. Yeah. Now, from, from that verse, yeah. from all that message translation mm. and the New King James Version, mm. now he, he brings in the issue of a life. Yeah. It's a life. Yes. Yeah. It's not, it's not a, a commandment, it's not a a tradition yes. is a life. Yeah. So, what kind of life is he talking about? Wow. Amazing. I'm, I'm loving. I'm loving the inclusivity mm-hmm. in the life. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you use the New King James Version, yes. uh, he says, mm-hmm. uh, when he came, he came and delivered a certain life, a life to be lived. Yes. He says that in Christ, dwells the fullness of God bodily. Yes, bodily. In Christ, mm-hmm. dwells the fullness of God bodily. The Godhead. Yeah, the Godhead. The fullness of the Godhead dwells in him bodily. Mm-hmm. I was thinking who Christ is. Mm-hmm. 
oh pastor ben can you help me understand who, who is jesus christ here and then how are we included and you are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power he says you you are complete in him and when were we included in the same because uh, if i can number what you are saying we were saying when he came he reconciled us back to himself and he gave us a life and from our current discussions that life there is not like he came to a cemetery to a, uh, he was speaking to dead people in a cemetery and he was saying i am come that you may have life and have it more aband- abundant no he was speaking to people who are living who are breathing in fact they were asking him questions and in the end of that chapter there were questions that he was answering that that were so tough but now in all this he's saying that i came that you may have life and that you may have it in abundance what kind of life so he included us in himself and in including us to himself that is where he's saying inside christ we are the body of christ christ is the head of the body christianity is the body of christ right we are the body of christ and jesus in him dwells the godhead fully right in its fullness he dwells in him so now i can i i i can i can relate that this life that we have been called to live in is the oneness where we have been called to christ where he has made us one and he promised the same before he died wow yeah so this life is the the oneness so yeah. when he talks about the fullness of the godhead it's talking about the totality of god yeah. the totality of god and he says that for in him dwells all the fullness of the godhead bodily and he says and you are complete in him yeah. who is the head of all principality and power yeah. so this is about a completeness yeah. so if we miss this yeah. christianity becomes like any other religion yes. Yeah. Yes. so you've seen that christianity is a life yeah christ has given us or christ came to give us a life yeah. and this life is to be lived mm. it's not a life to be read in yeah. the books yes, uh, we don't read this thing in the books mm. it's not passive yes it is active mm. the life of god in a man is active mm. and we've also realized that we just read colossians 2 verse 9 and 10 for in him yeah. dwells all the fullness of the godhead bodily mm. in who in, in christ wow and he says mm-hmm. you are complete yeah. in him yeah. who is the head mm. of all principality and power yeah uh, what i realize is this mm-hmm. i don't know whether a, a, a man who just attends church claps his hands prays sings some slow songs as we were saying mm. that kind of a man is a you can call him just an average christian or an average believer yeah that kind of a man is missing something very very important yeah and those are the people you you hear them say that mm-hmm. i am not perfect yeah. no one is perfect <laughs> only god is perfect yeah. i am not righteous yeah. no one is righteous and they are quoting the bible yeah but now mm. when we come to the realization yeah. of what christ has given us mm. which is the life of christ in us yes. then we we come to understand that he says mm-hmm. the fullness of the god head yeah. dwells. dwells in christ yeah wow last question mm-hmm. where is christ mm-hmm. okay of course here he says body mm-hmm. but now he is not here in his body yeah. a time came and he ascended yes yeah. because he wanted to live in each and every one of us mm-hmm. but as long as he was here body yeah he was limited mm-hmm. Because yeah. he could only be at one place at a time. Yeah. But now, yeah. he is living in us wow. by the Spirit. Yeah. That is why now he's saying, mm-hmm. we are complete in him, mm-hmm. who is the head of all. Mm-hmm. So Christianity mm-hmm. is about the fullness of God, yes. yeah. the union with God. Yeah. So now my question is, yeah. what does it mean to have the fullness of God? Wow. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. When you, when you go to... Okay, we've seen in Colossians that the Bible says, now that you have received Christ, mm-hmm. I, I love the message version, it says, now leave him. Yes, leave him. <laughs> now that you have received Christ, yeah. leave him. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, I, I, I like to go to the verse where Christ is living, mm-hmm. and he's telling them, I think it is in 
John chapter 14, that I will send you, mm -hmm. that when I go, I am going to my Father. Yes. But I will not leave you as orphans. Yeah. I will send you yeah. another mm -hmm. like me. Wow. wow. Another one like me mm -hmm. to stay with you. Yeah. The Bible says the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah who will teach you all things yeah. and will put you into remembrance of everything that I taught you. Yeah. And yeah. this person will live in you. Mm -hmm. He will live in us. Yeah. You see, when you, when you study that word, another like me, yeah. it, means, uh, it means that another one who is act actually, it is, uh, it is one in another. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at the Trinity, yeah. God the Father, yeah. God the Son, yes. and God the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. This is a, it's an aspect that exists. Yeah. There is God the Father, the Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But according to the dispensation. Yeah. In the old dispensation, mm. they knew God as they knew they knew him as God. Yeah. Then Christ and Christ comes, yeah. who is who who we who we who we call the son, uh, the son of God. Yeah. And he tells us that he is yeah. the Father. Yeah. But Christ came in the flesh, and we we know that. Uh, the Son of God means God in flesh. Yeah. So it is God yeah. Himself, the yeah. Father, yeah. who took on a body yeah. and come and came and lived here on earth. Wow. And the Bible says, and we saw His glory. Yes. Yeah. And then He says, "I will live, but I will send you another like Me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who will now come and live in yeah. you." Yeah. In this dispensation, mm -hmm. the dispensation after Christ has already come in the earth, yeah. died for our sins, yeah. and 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 has been crucified, mm -hmm. died and resurrected, yeah. and then he ascended to, to, the, to the Father, back to heaven, right, yeah. he says that he will send us his Spirit, yeah. who will come and live in yeah. us. What it means to receive the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God is not part of God, yeah. as we are reading in Colossians. Yeah. He's not part of God. Not yeah. He's not a junior God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he is the fullness, yeah. the fullness of God. Mm -hmm. Everything that is known of God, yeah. everything that God is, yeah. He has sent, yes. yeah. and he is now living mm -hmm. in you. Yeah. And now he says, as you have received Christ, leave him. Yeah. Jesus says, mm -hmm. in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, yeah. I think we can go there. Yes. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he says, mm -hmm. but he shall receive power yeah. after the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, yeah. is come upon you, yeah. and ye shall be my witnesses mm -hmm. unto me. You yeah. shall be witnesses unto me, yeah. both in Jerusalem, yes. and in Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the outermost part mm -hmm. of the earth. Yes. He says you shall receive power yeah. after the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. has, come, has come upon you. Wow. <laughs> and you shall be witnesses mm -hmm. unto me. Mm -hmm. Who is a witness? Yeah. A witness yeah. is, is the one who has the evidence. Yeah. Is the evidence carrier. Yeah. Is the evidence bearer. Yeah. He says you shall be witnesses unto me. Yeah. You shall be my witnesses. Yeah. He doesn't say you, sh you shall go to witness. Yeah. Do. <laughs> he doesn't say you shall you shall you shall do witnessing. Yeah. You're not you're the exhibit. No, you yeah. you are the with evidence, yeah. you are carrying the evidence yeah. of Christ mm -hmm. here on earth. My God. So everything that is known of God, uh -huh. everything that is written of God, yeah. everything that uh, that we know about Jesus Christ, yeah. you, Bonnie Glorious, yes. you, Ben Fetcher, mm -hmm. you are the evidence My of God. everything that yeah. is known of God. Yeah. The Bible says everything that is known of God is made manifest mm -hmm. through his church, wow. the body. Yeah. The body of Christ. Yeah. The Bible says he is the head mm -hmm. and we are the body. The body does yeah. what the head yeah. has already thought. Yeah. <laughs> or what, what the head is calculating there, yeah. the body does. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. When my head thinks of slapping you, yeah. Pastor Ben, it is not my head that will slap you. Yeah. It is my hand, yeah. the part of my body yeah, <laughs> that will slap easy. you, but I'm not slapping <laughs> you. <laughs> it is my hand. The completion of the example could be... <laughs> Can make no, the, no, the no. viewer to understand. <laughs> it is, <laughs> do not allow this. <laughs> so, so when Christ is the head, everything that is going on in the head, everything that is of the head, mm -hmm. it is made manifest by what? By the body. Yeah. How will you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. By what I am doing. Wow. By what I am living. Mm -hmm. So you are the evidence. You are the witnesses of Christ. You carry the evidence. Of Christ, and He says, "You will live. You will be. You will be witnesses unto Me. You will live the life 
that is written in the word mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit being, being in you, mm -hmm. it means that you carry the ability mm -hmm. to live the life of God, mm -hmm. the life of God, mm -hmm. the life that is in God, Amen. the very life of God. Wow. Yes, sir. You say that uh, the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of God is not, you know, his name actually is not the Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> Holy is just a description yes, sir. of who he is mm. because he's the spirit of God who is holy. Yes. It's, he's not a junior God. Mm. He's the fullness of God. Yeah. So even Christ when he was here, mm -hmm. he was not a junior God. Yes. Yeah. He was the fullness of God yeah. in the body. Mm. Now, mm -hmm. Christ has ascended as yes. you said. Mm. And when he was ascending, he said that I will send another one. Yes. So it was him mm. now. Yes. The same Christ now yes. coming, yeah. not in form of a body. Yeah. Mm because he wanted to live because the original plan of god was god and man to yeah. be one wow and uh, because he wanted to live with men yeah me with this body i cannot get inside you yeah it is true. impossible very true yeah. <laughs> if i can yeah. i cannot get inside you and you and you and you yes sir. it's only one person at a time yeah but now he had to ascend and mm -hmm. come in form of the the spirit yeah and now when he has come in form of the spirit yeah. now he is in us wow and now, yeah. the amazing thing is this. Mm -hmm. Now this is what Christianity is about. Yes. Yeah. What Christ was, yeah. because he had the spirit in him, yeah. and he had the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the same spirit has come to live in mm -hmm. us, wow. and we have the body. body. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is to say, mm -hmm. what Christ is, mm -hmm. is what we are. Yes. My God. So, this life, we have talked about life yeah. and the spirit. Yeah. So, the experience of the life mm -hmm. of God yeah is made possible mm -hmm. because of the spirit of, of God, God. Yeah. Us. Wow. Us. wow. I don't know what, <laughs> what you're seeing there. Yeah, I, I love it. Let me let me take it from what my brother had said mm -hmm. about Jesus and the helper mm -hmm. and the Holy Ghost who came. Mm -hmm. Contextually, Jesus was speaking about because he began the 14th chapter of John yes. by explaining to us that we should not be uneasy. He said, yes. relax, it's mm -hmm. good, let your heart not be troubled. Mm -hmm. You believe in God, yes. believe in me also. Yes. Then he gave an example of a house mm -hmm. or of houses. Mm -hmm. I know Jesus loved houses, <laughs> like I love houses, <laughs> and I have many houses. So in the, in, the, <laughs> in the place of houses, he says, in my father's house, yeah. there are many mansions. Yeah. Now, if it, were, if it were not so, yes. I would have told you, yes. or I would not have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. Yes. Most of the times we used to think, or me personally, I used to think, Maybe it's where we will go after after he after the rapture yes. when Jesus is come, then he will maybe he will rapture have, some of us who are rapture. Yeah. <laughs> and I even saw memes saying somebody was saying that if God loves me and he builds my house with gold, he can give me a window. <laughs> so I have to deal with the current situation in my life. <laughs> and then I will live in a house without a window <laughs> in eternity. So th that, that is the image that has been painted to us of, of a house yeah. and many mansions. But have you ever thought of a house having many mansions in it? Oh. Don't think. Okay. It's like thinking of a purple elephant. <laughs> and see, you are still thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> elephant. Purple elephant. So what I'm saying, uh -huh. what, what Jesus was saying, is this in my father's dwelling place yes. there are dwelling places yes where my father dwells today there are many dwelling places mm. and in fact you are supposed to be in one of them yes and you're supposed to dwell with the father and in the father for that case yes. and so jesus says i go to prepare a place for you then i will come again and receive you unto myself Okay, mm -hmm. so Christ, Unto myself. Oh. yes, I will go when I die and I am risen again. The preparation of the house, yeah, is when he was going to die, yeah. So wow. his death, <laughs> yeah, is where he was going to prepare a house for us, absolutely. Yes. And we are housed by him. Mm -hmm. And now, when so he's it's not like right now, he's preparing a house, I know, no, no. <laughs> he's a seated, oh, yeah, seven, <laughs> <laughs> seven flowing. <laughs> Between the heavens. <laughs> see, uh -huh. This is what religion has robbed us. Yes. Yeah. Because most people think like, yeah. right now mm. the Lord is preparing a house for them. Mm. And actually other people say when someone dies, yeah. uh, his house was completed. Oh That's my, why God. Was called. my goodness. But what about children? <laughs> 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 
But it's good to make this clear that yes. when the Lord was speaking this, mm. he had not died. Yeah. He was talking about his death. Yeah, sure. I will go to prepare a place for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in, in my death, my burial and resurrection, and after I am risen, then I will I will come and bring you to myself. Mm -hmm. Then he says that where I am, there you may be also. Mm -hmm. Where I am, mm -hmm. the place where I am in the, in the Father. And then he says, and where I go, you know, and even the way you know. Yes. But now these guys, because phys he's not speaking to physical beings, mm -hmm. so they are trying to understand it with the mind. But he's speaking to them from afar to show them what he's going to do for them. Yes. Because in reality, Jesus knew that they knew the place where they will dwell in. Yes. It is the place called in Christ. Yes. And that is where we dwell. Yes. That is our dwelling place. Yes. That is our place of living. Mm. That is where we live. The Bible says in him we live, not we are going to live. Mm. In Acts 17. Yeah, in him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our, our being. being. That is where our being is. That is where... outside him. Yeah. In the first place, we are not outside him. We are in him. We live in him. We move in him. And our being is also in wow. him. So, so where he, is, he was speaking about, he was speaking about the place where the place of the father. And he says, I am the way to the father. I am the truth to the father. Mm. And I am the life. Then they say, they, they were telling him, show us the father. Mm. And then he's saying, have I been so long with you and you have not seen him? Because when you see me, mm. you see the Father. Yes. And that is my dwelling place. Now, from that point, mm. he can now tell them, now, when I go, I will not leave you comfortless. Mm. Now, after I bring you to the place where I am, now, he will now be living in you. Mm. Who? The helper. Who is the Holy Spirit? And he will be living out that life wow. in this world. Wow. Wow. So it is in the dwelling place of the Father. Wow. Wow. You are not you who I can see here. Wow. Your reality is in God. Wow. Yeah. Yes, yes. Again, we realize there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, we are talking about religion and Christianity. Yeah. We realize how religion has robbed us of our reality. Yes. Yeah. And I think it is in our last episode where we said that religion postpones what we are supposed to be enjoying mm -hmm. today, yeah. post postpones it and takes it uh, to the future. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. what we are seeing here mm -hmm. is uh, well, because people misunderstood this verse. Yeah. Now, when he says, if I go and prepare a place for you, yeah. I'll come again and mm -hmm. see. Yes, like you are saying, uh, because of what religion has, does, has done, it has postponed what we are supposed to enjoy today and pushed it far to the future. Yes, sir. Like we are talking about this verse in John 14 from verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled, you believe in in God, believe also in me, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Mm. I go to prepare a place for you. Mm. So people think like he was talking about uh he was talking about even right now he's preparing a place for us. Yeah. So you see that is postponing something. Yeah. yeah. Then he says, Where I am, mm -hmm. you will be. Yeah. Uh, a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, yeah. I'll come again and receive you to myself. Yeah. So because of religion, many people still think like they have not been received yet. Yeah. Yeah. They are waiting to be received. Mm -hmm. By and by in the future when Jesus will be coming back for the church, yeah. when the rapture will be happening, they will be received and they will be taken to the houses sure. that he has been building, <laughs> uh, where there are many mansions in the same house. Yeah. But this is a done deal now. Yeah. The, the houses, in the presence of the Father, we have found a place. Right. And he says, where he is, yeah. that is where we are. Ah, look. There you may be also, and mm. where I go, you mm. know. Yeah. And the way, you, you know. know. Yeah. Wow, this is, this is amazing. Yeah. So it's like uh, when believers come to this understanding yeah. that everything that God ever wanted to do for man, mm. he has done it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because religion will always postpone things. Yeah. And you, when the religion postpones things, yeah. you are always postponing your joy. Yeah, yeah. You're sure. supposed to rejoice today. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to enjoy the life of God today. Yeah. You're supposed to enjoy the fullness of God today. Yeah. You're supposed to enjoy the union with God today. Yeah. But it is postponed yeah. that uh, in the future when Christ comes for the church where he is, yeah. I will be. Yeah. It is now and here because yeah. of what Christ has done. Amen. Mm -hmm. In fact, religion, one of the ways religion steals the reality, the reality that God has called us into, is by making men want to leave earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to leave earth and go to heaven. So everything that this man is, is doing in their life here, the focus is in heaven. Mm -hmm. 
a heaven they have not seen we are, we are not saying that heaven does not exist it's a heaven where they already are yeah, in fact it's a heaven where they already are but their focus is in heaven if you can binguni nikamuone elia you know that, that is where their focus is yeah. yet christianity when when christ came to earth he yeah. brought us the life yeah to live it here yeah. on earth. Yeah. He says, yeah, the song that says yes. that he brought heaven down. Yes, here oh. on earth. Yeah. The Bible says he brought the kingdom mm-hmm. to us yeah. here. He says the kingdom of God is here. Yeah. When he came, he says yeah. the kingdom of God is here. Yeah. So people want to leave earth and go to the kingdom of yeah. God yeah. according to religion. That is what religion makes them think. Yeah. But Christ is giving us a reality. Yeah. In fact, the kingdom of God is in you. Live out the kingdom mm. here on earth. Live yeah. it out. Yeah. Because it is already where in yeah. you. Yes. So you can see that you can see how I hate religion. <laughs> I hate religion. <laughs> now, the only way we can uh, we can effect changes even in the world. Yes. When we come to the realization that uh, it's not heaven at last. Yeah. You know, people yes. think like Kifika Biguni, when you get to heaven, will be giving each other high fives. Hey, you've made it. You've mm. made it. Hey, Ian, you are here. <laughs> no, we will not make it. Yeah. <laughs> we are. We are in. Actually, yes. it is not us who, make, who makes ourselves to go to heaven. Yeah. It's Christ who has brought us in heaven. Yes. He says we are, we are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Mm. So heaven yeah. is not a thing for the future. Yeah. It's a reality for today. Yeah. You may not be seeing it in, with your physical eyes yeah. because, again, it's not something to be seen physically. Yeah. But it is a spiritual reality. Yeah. Sure. That is where we are, mm-hmm. seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Okay. That is the place of authority. Mm-hmm. That is the place of power. Yeah. That is the place of uh, changing the world. Yeah. And uh, we see this in yeah. the book of Acts. Mm-hmm. When you look at the church, in the book of Acts, yeah. they, have an, they had an understanding of this thing. Yeah. Though the revelation is still progressing, yeah. but you realize that these guys, mm-hmm. they were changing things. Yes. They were, Great things. They were doing great things. Mm-hmm. They were healing the sick. Yeah. They were, you know, it's very unfortunate that the people who should be healing the sick today yeah. are the sick ones. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> My God. Because, uh-huh. you know, Christianity, yes. the life that you have received is yeah. not just to go to heaven. Mm. It's to bring heaven down. Here on earth. To allow your neighbors, your 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 people, yeah. the world, yeah. the universe, to yeah. experience even the animals. Yeah. Yes. To, to, to mm-hmm. taste the heaven. Yes. Yeah. It's not us going to heaven. Yeah. Because it makes us to be irresponsible. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. So this life gives us a, a big responsibility. Very true. Because it's about us yeah. changing the world. Yeah. And this comes with this realization of the life of God, yeah. the fullness of God, yeah. the totality of God yes, sir. in a man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much, Pastor. Yes. Let me take it from where you started mm. until where you I are. I like how it. you take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you take it from the beginning. Yes. Yes. <laughs> from the... <laughs> <laughs> and they yeah, love taking it. Yeah, take it yeah. From there. Yes. yeah. There's, there's a place where it is written. I believe it's in the book of Hebrews mm. where he says, But you, 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 not you will come to Mount Zion. You have, you have come. Hebrews 12. Yeah, Hebrews 12. 20, 21. 22. Yeah. Mm. And he says, But you are come to Mount Zion. Mm-hmm. You have. You have. Yes. Mm. you have come. You have come to Mount Zion. Mm. You have come to the heavenly Jerusalem. Yes. You have come to the city of the living God. Mm. In wow. fact, you have come. You, <laughs> you know, some of these things are dangerous to utter. <laughs> yeah, you have come. Not you. Uh, uh, I loved English. I still do. And I love, me. I love the tenses. And I don't know what made us to substitute the biblical tenses. Most of the times we don't see mm-hmm. the tenses in the Bible. Mm-hmm. He's not saying you will come to Mount Zion. You know what no. has happened? Yes, there sir. is a religious veil yeah. oh. that hinders men from seeing the reality mm-hmm. of it yes, in the scriptures. Yeah, and thank you for that. And we thank God because it is being, it has been removed to you. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. Even grammar. Yeah, even grammar. <laughs> My God. I love, I love how Christ did not remove the veil. Yeah, he tore it <laughs> so that it cannot be from put top. back. So that it cannot even be it's put not back. Stop. <laughs> 
so that will, will not be said it's the work of man. <laughs> Please <laughs> proceed. You're talking about you have come to Mumbai. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's not bottom up. <laughs> he do it from the top to the bottom. Praise the Lord. Yes, and so, <laughs> the scripture is acknowledging that we have come to Mount Zion. Yes. We have already come and we have come to the heavenly Jerusalem, to the city of the living God where Jesus said in my father's dwelling place there are many dwelling places so he says you are come to that place mm-hmm. and he says even to those guys who passed on yes. or who put away their bodies he says you are come to the city of just men made perfect mm-hmm. the bible calls death what we call death here on earth it calls the place of where the people who where people who are just mm. the spirits of those people mm. they have been perfected because yes, yes we have come to zion mm. but still since we, we who are around here our spirits are not yet taken from the bodies yes. I mean, that is what he calls perfection yes. Perfect. but yes we are still perfect mm. but our spirits are not taken from the bodies mm. now nah, nah, that is just to make us functional in this uh, in this place because mm. to be if, legally here yeah to be legally here not be preaching here in <laughs> fact no camera can realize it <laughs> Yeah, so we have already come to that place yes. and the Lord is assuring us, he's talking this to us for us to believe in it and then that we may rest inside of it because wow. we have already come and we are there. Wow. Yeah. Hearing and listening between the lines of everything that we've been saying, yeah. I realize that uh, Christianity is not something that will happen. Mm. It's, it starts with something that has happened. Yes. Yeah. You know, Christ declared it is finished. Yeah. So where he finished, he finished everything mm-hmm. and ushered us in mm. from where he ended that is where we we we, we were invited yeah not so. to to partake you know I, I i read the story of a guy in the old testament mm-hmm. a guy with a very very uh, funny name huge mm-hmm. name called mm-hmm. mephibosheth oh. mephibosheth mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so this guy yeah was invited to eat at the king's dinner yes. at the king's table yeah by david mm-hmm. you all know that story yeah. it's a long story yeah and he was not invited to participate in preparing the food wow he was invited yeah. to participate in enjoying the the food that has already wow. been prepared wow. and this is the invitation for christianity yeah. you are not invited to yeah. pick up your tools yeah. and the sufrias yeah <laughs> you know you are not invited to to uh, to help yeah in doing these things yeah. you are invited yeah. to what has already been, been done he has prepared <laughs> a table before us wow. it is already prepared yeah. but religion yeah. ca- tells you to come yeah. and be part of the preparers yeah. Yeah. there is a word like that <laughs> Very true. there is none we create one <laughs> create so it. we have been called into something that has been accomplished yeah. so this guy uh-huh. uh, sometimes i i figure it out about my own thinking yeah. like he had friends from lodiba yeah. in yeah. and maybe if it is in our days they could call him and ask him mm. What are you doing? Then the guy would say, I am busy eating wow. at the king's I am very busy. I cannot be found. I'm very busy <laughs> wow. eating at the king's table. Wow. You know, this is already been called to, yeah, be, to be very busy yeah. Yeah. eating at the king's table. Sure. Yeah. At the king's table. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Because it has been finished, yeah. it is completed. Yeah. We are not working to become anything. Yeah. We are settling because we've been made. Wow. wow. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is the life. This is the life. Mm. And this life, the Bible says. Mm-hmm creation yeah you see everything that has been created yeah the universe yeah and its fullness yeah. all planets yeah. all stars all galaxies when you come here on earth all oceans water rivers everything that god created yeah the bible says it waits yeah it eagerly wow. awaits wow. the manifestation of the, sun. of the sons mm. of god yeah. for it was subjected into corruption yeah. not, not by its willingly. not by its own will yeah not by its own will yeah. Yeah. A, a mosquito mm-hmm. was not created yeah. to give you malaria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, yeah. it was not created to give someone malaria. Yeah. Animals were not created to kill people. Yeah. Sure. No, they mm-hmm. were subjected into that corruption. Yeah. Not in their own will, mm-hmm. but in the will of man. Yeah. Because man, because of man. Yeah. You see? Yeah. That, that now it says the Bible says all creation awaits the manifestation of the sun's of god Amen. creation is waiting for you yeah. and i wow. to live the life that has already been made available in us 
as as Boni, as as Pastor Pastor Ben is saying, yeah. he's saying we have been called to partake of the work that has already been finished. Oh. The work has been finished. Mm. It has been put in you. Mm. Yours is to leave it out. Oh. Mm. Manifest that which has already been worked mm. in you. Yeah. And that is Christianity. Oh, manifesting the life of God. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And I believe time has come when uh, we should now stop telling uh, we, when we should start telling all creation yes. that stop waiting. Yes. We have a right. We have a right. We oh. are here. Mm. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And now with this yeah. realization yeah. and with this life in us, yeah. now we can heal the sick. Mm -hmm. We are not the sick. Yeah. No. We are healing the sick. Yeah. So yeah. if you are there, you are the sick one. Yeah. We are delivering you. Be yeah. healed. Be healed. Mm. And be delivered completely from yes. that sickness. Yeah. You, you have a great responsibility. Yeah. Imagine your cow is waiting for you. It has been waiting for you when you are there. Sick. Come on, rise up and walk. <laughs> Feed your cow. <laughs> Feed your goat. You cannot pretend to be sick there because it's pretending. Yes. You have been healed yes. by Christ. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. So I want us to finish it at that point, mm -hmm. but maybe you can give your... I'm pastor. so blessed. I'm, I'm so blessed and I've been blessed and I will add the emphasis on the last point that has been made that mm -hmm. now creation has now found the sons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you who have heard the message for today and who is continually understanding this truth yes. which is already settled in you. Yes. As you realize this, in your continual realization, you will you you have already con you have already brought everything to order. Mm -hmm. I love what Jesus said, and we have we had also said this. He said, "All power in heaven mm -hmm. and on earth is given to me." Then he says, "Go ye therefore," and he told them, "You will be witnesses. You will not go witnessing. You will be witnesses. Mm -hmm. You are witnesses, and you are witnessing of that nature of Christ, of that life of Christ. You cannot settle for that less life." Yes. Amen. Amen. Wow, thank you. Pleasure. For me, uh, I believe we have not yet seen the fullness of what Christians, Christ beings, can do or the kind of life they can live. Mm. But I believe this is the time where the world and the universe and everything is going to experience the life of God through men because we are coming into this knowledge and day by day, we are being transformed into that same image, as we said in the beginning. The same, same image, the same image of God. We are living the life of God here on earth, the perfection of God, the righteousness of God, yeah. everything that is known of God, mm -hmm. it is being made manifest mm -hmm. through His sons, yeah. through us, through you mm -hmm. and me. Amen. It comes with knowledge, mm -hmm. knowing who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. This is our identity. Praise this is our, our reality, mm -hmm. and this is our life. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So, child of God, you are not a weakling. Yeah. You are not a nobody. Yeah. You are not looking for help. Yes. You are the help giver. Yes. You are the solution giver. Amen. You carry God. Amen. But now, all oh, this thing that is inside you, the yeah. fullness of God, yeah. the power of God, the yeah. spirit of God, yeah. you cannot experience it mm -hmm. until you start exercising it mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, you are blessed. Remain blessed because you are in Christ. This has been the Beholders Chat. My name is Ben Fetcher and you are blessed. Amen.